Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with another uh, video. And in this one, I am going to be reviewing um, Alice Cooper's upcoming album called Paranormal. Now, please forgive me, guys. In this vid, you'll see me looking a lot over to that side, uh, looking at uh, notes uh, for the songs uh, and that I took as I was listening uh, to this album. So uh, let's be honest here, in the internet age, you can hear things before they're released thanks to wonderful leaks, right? So uh, that's how I heard this album, just putting it out there. So anyway, enough about that. Let's go ahead and talk about Alice Cooper's upcoming album, Paranormal, in a bit more detail. Uh, anyway, uh, the first track is the title track. It's called Paranormal. It is an atmospheric, spooky uh, style track and it has uh, great hooks, instrumentation, and layers. It is absolutely a standout track. Uh, after that we have uh, Dead Flies, which is an extremely catchy song with a lot of groove in it. Uh, after that we got uh, Fireball, which is a modern sounding, uh, mid-paced rocker a very cool uh, voice effect applied uh, throughout. It's got a bit of a reverb, robotic sounding voice. It's very cool. After that, we have uh, Paranoid Personality, which is uh, the track that I reviewed individually on this channel right when it came out. Uh, and it's a pretty great classic sounding uh, Alice Cooper track. It has elements really from the 70s, 80s, and 90s in it. It's absolutely a standout track, and it's, uh, you know, catchy as all hell. Uh, next up, we got uh, Fallen in Love, which is a southern rock kind of boogie, boogie blues sounding song. Quite good. Um, after that, we got uh, Dynamite Road, which is, it's another groove-laden mid-paced rocker. And it has uh, some great, you know, kind of ups and downs in it and some really great hooks. Uh, after that, we got a Private Public Beat Down, which is really the only song on the album that's not as strong as the others. Now, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not particularly great in any particular it's just kind of there it's not really a standout track at all um it's kind of a melancholy sounding song it has some okay hooks on it but like i said it's just kind of there and uh, after that we've got holy water uh which is an upbeat sounding track and it has a great uh horn intro and great horn section really throughout the song overall it's really an awesome standout track uh, after that, we have Rats, which is a uh, great, catchy, fast rock song with, you know, a ton of groove in it. And it has a, a real standout guitar solo to, towards the end of the song. It's just a great track. After that, we have The Sound Of. I'm sorry, The Sound Of A. And uh, that is an atmospheric track. Um, and it has a lot of cool arrangements in different sections. It's, it's a fairly, uh, has a lot of variety and it. it's the longest track on the album. Now, those tracks that I just covered uh, were all recorded with, you know, Alice Cooper's modern band. Uh, the next two songs were recorded with the original Alice Cooper band, you know, that he had like back in the 70s. And uh, the first one of those two songs is called... Um, Genuine American Girl. Now it's a very pop-laden song. It almost, to me, kind of sounds like a parody. Not exact, uh, sort of. A parody of kind of like 50s and 60s overly poppy, happy songs. Um, you know, but it has kind of some dark-ish lyrics. It's, 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 it's really an odd duck, uh, but it fits in well. And it, and it does work. Uh, the next song is uh, You and All Your Friends. Now, this sounds uh, like this was ripped straight out of the 1970s. This is the last song in the album, by the way. And that's totally fine um, because it sounds like it was ripped from the 1970s in a good way. It has a vibe in it, really, that's kind of similar to Elected from uh, Billion Dollar Babies. 
uh, and it works really, really well. Um, awesome track. Uh, overall, uh, what I would give this album is score is 90 out of 100. It is a great modern Alice Cooper uh, album, and I think that's probably uh, where fans of Alice Cooper are going to put this, is just a great modern Alice Cooper record, because that's absolutely what it is. It stands up to a lot of his best work easily. Um, just overall, it is a, a really great album, and it's a total must-have if you are an Alice Cooper fan. As for myself, I'll be picking this album up as soon as I see it. Uh, no questions asked, because I, I really, really enjoy it. So anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap this up. Uh, if you did like this, thumbs up. If you hate this, thumbs down. Share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.